What's going on world? It's your boy Big Chips here and today baby Today we're gonna to talk about a little bit about uh, difference between being grateful and wanting for more and uh, I got this because we talked about it on our show yesterday You can go to www.bizandchips.com plug and uh, watch our show we do weekly on Thursdays and uh, one of the comments we received and questions was I was talking about being grateful and one thing that I learned is if you can't be grateful where you are and what you have how can you expect to get more so I get you know honestly that is kind of very very open-ended there but uh, I guess the comp the question was that you know what we were saying really did touch deep but how do you know when to be grateful and when to want for more, you know, where's the balance? And I kind of responded on that question, so this is going out to you, brother. But uh, he, here's the, uh, the quandary that we have, all right? When you, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about my story. How about that? How about I tell you my story? Before 2008, I had a very, very, very successful business. We had a very, very large gross yearly income 2008 hit and the new owner of the company known as America actually took away business from my business you know a veto signature on a contract that said that contract is now null and void you know we didn't have money to pay for it sorry Charlie good luck so I went from a very, very profitable business, moving to a new location, really trying to grow, which I had already been doing. I had already been growing the business either way to half of what I was making. And when you upscale and upgrade and do all this stuff, you become you know, a heavy spender. And that's basically what I did. Well, 2008 hit, you know, the new owner screwed me, lost 50%, actually is a little bit more like 62% of my business right off the bat. Something that I worked really, really hard to get and really, really hard to keep. Then the housing bubble happened, the economy just continued to tank, I lost my business. You know, and in this process, we lost our home. In this process, we lost our vehicles. In this process, I lost my manhood. You know, oh, come on, truck. You know, you get to a point, sorry, that truck was like, came right over on me. But you get to a point where you lose your pride. So here I am, very down on myself, down on everything. My health is going out of control. I about lost my family, and we're forced to live in a little single wide trailer with one bedroom. At this point, I had two kids, my wife and I, and two dogs, and over a 4,000 square foot house full of stuff. Yeah. And this little single wide trailer, one bedroom, was not a big single wide trailer. It was like a, I think like a 14 by 40, something like that. It was, it was tiny, it's tiny, absolutely tiny. So a real shock happened in my life. Not only did I lose my pride, but I lost everything I had. And I learned at that point in time in my life that I think I held greed because that's, that's what it was is the gluttony of things that's what I held important it wasn't I wasn't grateful for nothing I wasn't grateful that I built my business I wasn't grateful that I had this huge home the biggest home I'd ever had in my life I come from a not so wealthy family but I had all these things finally all the toys you can imagine I was getting and latest and greatest but I lost it all and here I am stuck in this little situation this little bitty 
trailer, one bedroom with my entire family. It was heartbreaking. I mean, it still is. I mean, it still affects my heart today, and that's why I got the drive that I do. That no matter what comes against me, I may get down, but I don't let it keep me down. But I, you know, it was a very big rude awakening, and it took me a while, okay? You can only imagine going from 4,500 square feet and going down to, I mean, if I was lucky, I mean, I wouldn't even say it was 700 square feet. I wouldn't even give it that. You know, all these people, all this stuff, these animals, the whole nine yards. Imagine if you could be grateful for that. Imagine if you could smile every day. You know, it, it was hard. It was hard. But I had to stop and realize that at least we had a house. At least I had my family. At least my family loved me. And it was it was a hard situation. But at least I had what I had. And going through that, I learned about being grateful. Because I had learned that I wasn't grateful. There was nothing about me that was grateful for anything. You know, and now my gratitude is for having a new day. My gratitude is for seeing my kids smile. Hearing my daughter finally say, I love you, Dad. I love you, Dad. And melting my heart, you know, every single time. It's the little things in life that, that I'm talking about. Being grateful for where you are. See, I think the confusion happens is because people, they're not grateful for anything that they have. They're very ungrateful. They're very demeaning toward their life and demeaning toward the things that they have. And they get jealous. And, you know, especially with my boy, my brother Vincent, you know, he's talking about a new car, you know, and a, a new Amex. And you got people coming on being douchebags about it just to try to make him look bad or say he's wrong or whatever. You know, who cares? Whose place is it for you to get jealous because homeboy's got his thing going on? You know what I mean? And people just get jealous and people hate and it takes your grat your gratefulness down. But you got to keep the gratitude. All right? It's hard to be grateful for doing something good when somebody comes in and does something bad. My case yesterday was here we had this coaching program. And uh, the lady that went through it, she's just, she's awesome. And, I mean, God bless her, just killed the sale yesterday, just killed it. $777.50 commission, big. And my business partner, Steve, and I, just blown away. The first thing we could think of was gratitude for her getting this sale. All right, so I was telling a couple people how great it was, and they're like, the first thing out of their mouth was, yeah, but you didn't get it. You didn't get the sale, so why are you so happy? Because my gratitude allows me to be happy for others. And that's really what I'm talking about here when I say being grateful. You're grateful for everything. I'm grateful that, you know, she made a sale, not me. I'm grateful that I'm seeing people knock out sale after sale. You know, I'm grateful for uh, Fraser just killing it with Facebook right now and pulling in all these people. You know, I'm very grateful for what people are doing because it builds it builds my company, it builds my esteem because then I know that it's it's working. You know what I mean? But you just be grateful. It doesn't mean you have to like the person or you have to like the situation. You know, like family members doing good that you don't like. I have plenty of those. Yeah. You know? People that just treated me like crap my whole life, but I'm still grateful that they do good. You know, it's gratitude. It's just gratitude. I don't care if they're grateful for me. I don't care if they're happy that I'm succeeding. I don't care that if they were, you know, whatever. It doesn't matter to me. The point is that I'm going to show my gratitude. I'm going to show my heart. I'm going to give my love because that's what makes me, me. And that's why I do continue to get more. That's why I do continue to get blessings. Because I don't let someone else's gain stop me from being happy. 
you know, and for me, especially, and you know, I'm grateful for Kathleen doing it because it just shows you that we can do something together. That what businesschips.com is doing is helping people. People come to us all the time talking about stuff we said, things that helped them, ways that we help push through or break a barrier. And to me, that is that's why I'm in this industry. You know, that's what the business is doing too. That's why we, we mesh, that's why we get together. That's why I bond so well with Vincent and Mark and what they've got, because it's all about helping others. Yeah, we're gonna make money. Yeah, we need to make money. Yeah, all that stuff. But we're still grateful to see other people succeed. And it, that's grateful, you know? I got this crappy laptop and I know I complain about it, but I still, I still have gratitude. Because if I didn't have that laptop, I'd be screwed, right? So although I don't like the laptop, I know I deserve more and I envision more. I just don't like the laptop. But I'm very grateful for it. I'm very grateful that I have everything that I have. Because if I didn't, it'd be a sad world. You know, so when I talk about being grateful, it's just overall gratitude just gratitude and just peace about what's happening and you know the biggest lesson that I ever learned and the best thing that was ever told to me was Jeremy you know you're going through these storms and yes it's hard so I'm going to tell you and I want you to hear me because I tell you this in love I tell you this because I know for a fact it is true. I know what you're going through sucks. I know the pain, I know the sorrow, I know the worry, the doubt, the fear, but I wanna tell you right now that the sun is always shining through the other side of the cloud, through the rain, through the storm. The sun is always shining on the other side. Do you believe that with me today? Just nod your head yes. Because your belief is the is the starter, is the winner winner chicken dinner that's gonna make your your life. You gotta you gotta visually see it, you gotta believe it, then you achieve it. So being grateful just means be show gratitude for everything, for everybody, and be at peace for those around you having success being grateful that you do have what health you do. As long as you are breathing, you have health enough to breathe. You should be grateful because there's people out there that have tracheotomies, people that are out there that can't do that. If you can talk, if you can see, if you can hear, if you can walk, be grateful because there's people that cannot. That's being grateful. And gratitude, baby, is what makes you. Gratitude is what takes you to the next limit. It takes you to the other side. That makes life absolutely what it should be. Because when you are grateful and you are happy with where you are and what you are. Now, I'm not saying that. Now, let's, let's clear that up. Because the second part of that question was how, what's the balance? I always envision more always envision more. I don't envision this company work truck as something I want. I envision bigger and better things. The car and truck I have right now is my personal. I don't envision that as being mine because it's not. I have, you know, what my cars are and what I want. You know, I do want an Escalade. You know, it's not the fanciest of all the cars, but I love Cadillac. You know, I'd love to have an STS. I wanted an STS when they first came out. But, you know, I just, I love the, I love the car. You know, something about a caddy. You know, I guess growing up where I did, everybody was getting their hoopties, and they'd go out and, you know, get a Lincoln or a caddy. So, I mean, I always just grew up liking them. So, for me, it's not my dream car, but that's the car I really want. So, I, I guess it is a dream car. But I always envision more. The money I'm making now is nothing compared to what I, what I want, what I wish for, what I hope for, what I envision, what I see, what I know I'm going to accomplish. So there is a difference 
between greed and vision. Vision is everything. Vision is what builds your business. Vision is what takes you to the next level. Vision is what creates the life you want. Vision is what will make you, break you, everything. So being grateful for everything, showing gratitude, love, honor, respect for what you have. If you're sick, be grateful that you don't have something else. You know, find somebody who's sicker. Find somebody that has a limp. Find somebody that can't walk or hear or see and see how grateful they are for the senses that they do have. You know, and that's kind of the, the, the gist of it. Just show gratitude, show love, show honor, show respect, and just be grateful for what you have. Always want for more, always strive for more, always look to gain more because that is, that's the, that's the ticket. That's the bottom line of what we do this business for, okay? What we actually build life and everything. So 16 minutes, I rambled on. I need to kind of get off this, this subject a little bit. But be grateful for who you are. Be grateful for the things you have, that your family, if you have children, look at them as your gratitude maker every single day. You know, you want those around you and you want your team as you build them to have the same mottos as you. You wanna build people that are gonna be just like you, right? So if you got stinking thinking, you know, you're gonna attract and you're gonna gain and you're gonna have stinking thinkers. All right, and they're gonna bring you down. They're gonna bring your business down. Trust me, I've had tons of people that just have the the worst freaking attitudes, and you can only help them so much, you know. Until you just gotta say, okay, well, I can't, I can't work with you. I'm not gonna help you anymore. You know, put yourself on a better place. But that, my friend, is the winning ticket. So being grateful, showing gratitude for all that around you, but to always want for more, envision more. Your vision is everything. Do not walk away from your vision. Do not allow it to waver at all. Put the intention into what you want in life, where you want to go, and let the intention carry you. Because I'm, I'm telling you right now, and my nose is itching like crazy. So somebody's talking about me. I love it. Keep talking. Good or bad, I don't care. But intention will make your life because it's making mine right now. You put the power of intention in your life, the laws of the universe, what God tells me and teaches me, it all comes back. So put out what you want to get back in. All right? And believe with me that the sun is always shining on the other side of the storm. There's always sunlight. One love, fam. I'll see you on the other side. Make it a great day. I dare you.